Hi guys. Hi. Um, this is Ed and Arlene from edarlene.com. This is our new series, The Amateur Astrologers, because uh, we are amateurs at astrology. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> this is a learning process that we wanted to take you guys on this journey. And uh, if you have any comments, anything you want to add after this video, please feel free to help us out. We will take any advice. Um, any yes. suggestions, anything we miss, let's start a conversation. It's fun. Yeah. Um, so today we are talking about the uh, full moon in Libra that's happening on April 19th, 2019. And uh, Arlene has some history about full moons and Easter. It's kind of cool. So I just found this out, but Easter always occurs on the first Sunday after the full moon that occurs after the equinox. Um I never knew that no, I growing know that. up. That's kind of cool. It's cool that, yeah, the astrological ties to, like, the holiday. It's interesting. Yeah, it makes me want to dig deeper and figure out what other holidays might um, fall in line with that. When we were talking, you mentioned something about Passover. Passover this year falls in the same... I, I think it might always fall that way. I'm not sure. But I'm pretty. it falls like that as well this year. Eastern okay. Passover start on the, is on the same day this year. Start... That's cool. Um, so, um, this moon is considered a pink moon, right? Like, why is it pink? Is it... The moon... This pink moon's not really pink, so don't expect to go outside and see a pink moon. Um, oh, this, see, I was envisioning, like, you know, the red moons or, like... Yeah, like, like a glorious whatever. pink. Yeah, um, yeah. Depending on where you're at, you might have, a, like, a hue, I maybe, but it's actually coined the pink moon because at this time of the year, it's a certain type of pink flower that blooms, and the natives actually named it that. Oh, that's cool. Um, oh, that's really cool. A lot of our moons, like the wolf moon, mm -hmm. so on and so forth, are all named from Native culture, which is extremely cool for us. But, okay, yeah. Um, all right, so this moon is also Libra, right? And um, it's special? This is special because it's the second um, Libra moon in a row. Okay. Which is super rare. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. I'm not sure the significance completely, but it's extremely rare. Yeah, I mean, hey, whoever, if you're listening to this and you know, let you us know, know. drop it in the comments. <laughs> uh, we're learning, teach us. So, also, um, I saw that it was at 29 degrees, Libra is opposite of Uranus. So, mm -hmm. doesn't this mean that there's like a big need for maybe like change or like a shake up or something like that? This entire full moon is about change. It's about getting rid of things that no longer serve you and letting it go, get rid of the stagnant energy that's in your life right now. This is a complete do-over. It's the time to start over. Like, okay. new moons are that way as well, too, but full moon energy is magnified. Okay. So, full moon energy starts two days before the full moon and continues two days after the full moon. Okay. Um, so, if you are into, like, manifesting and so on and so forth, mindful living, this is a great time to focus on your thoughts, focus on what you want, like to manifest into your life. Um, but the key point of this moon is to let go. Let go of anything that's no longer serving you in your life that's not making you happy or contributing to um, your future joy. Okay, so I saw, too, there were aspects of Venus, which uh, rules love, and then I saw, uh, you know, Uranus again. Mm -hmm. So that means I'm, I'm thinking, like, maybe tension with relationships and some sort of change, but do you, this change is probably for the good, right? The change is for the good. Anything that occurs is for your greater good. The universe is always working for you, towards your greater good. Um, so anything that would come up, just, just things that need to resolve so they can be let go. Mm -hmm. So any type of conflict, any internal dialogue, you need to feel how you need to feel with whoever, yourself included, um, and let it go. Okay, so... It's resolution um, time. <laughs> to, su to summarize it, what would you say the big things are... For this moon energy just as a, a quick summary what i'm thinking just change for the better and growth embrace change okay. embrace change and don't get too fixated on the outcome of anything um let go now is the time to let go of anything holding you back awesome in oh, life okay so anything else you want to add before we end this so Mercury is finally exiting Pisces, um, the, which is really cool, and it's also entering into Aries, which is super productive energy, which also ties into this full moon. 
So okay. I think it's going to be magnified even more. But Mercury Mercury will be in Aries until May 6th. So just productive energy. Get shit done. Manifest positive changes in your life. All right. That's it. That's all I got. Okay. Well, uh, like, subscribe, add a comment. If you want. Yeah, if you are a, are a seasoned <laughs> astrologer and you have any tools, books, anything that we could um, read up on. Oh, book recommendations. Books are, are good. fantastic. Yeah. Um, we are avid readers. So if you have anything that to that would be productive for our learning experience, please drop it down below in the comments. And thank you for listening. Uh, we will be doing more of these moon updates and so on and so forth. But yeah, yeah, we actually have a Reiki moon, um, a full moon energy video that should be up right around the time this video is up. So if you want to get some Reiki energy for the moon moon, or full moon, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Be cool. Yeah. We're sending that out to you. All right. Uh, thanks for listening. Bye. Bye-bye.